Hello, I'm Auntie Kate, and I'm standing on my veranda. And we all know what that means. It's time for our Sabbath school program. Come along with me. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Hi friends, and welcome to Auntie Kay's Children's Sabbath School lesson. I'm so happy that you are here with me. Happy Sabbath, and we'll jump right into our welcome at this time. Oh, hi everyone. My name is Ashley McFall. I'm from Nassau, Bahamas, but I currently live in Miamisburg, Ohio. The country is different, but I'm happy the Sabbath is the same. Always a blessing. Welcome to Sabbath School with Auntie K. Happy Sabbath! Thank you so much, Princess Ashley. Guess what, boys and girls? There's so many quotes out there about prayer, but one of my favorites, it says that praying should be talking to God like we're talking to our friends, and that means it should be very easy. And coming to pray for us at this time will be Pastor Anastasia, and she's the Children's Youth and Outreach Pastor at the church over there in Al Holton in the United States of America. Hi, boys and girls, it's prayer time. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this beautiful Sabbath day. Thank you for all the wonderful things that we are going to learn about our best friend, Jesus. Give us a wonderful day's blessing. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Gracias, Pastor Anastasia, and you're welcome to pray for us at any time. Now guess what, boys and girls? Another episode of Backyard Farming is coming up next. Hello everyone, my name is Shekinah Griffin and I'm from the beautiful island of the Bahamas. Today I'm going to show you my garden. Over here we have our cucumbers and watermelon. Our broccoli. Beaver grass and basil, oregano, pimento peppers, Spanish thyme, and orange mint, and orange mint, and peppers. And this is my garden. I really love seeing our little farmers around the world showing us their backyards. Keep it up. <laughs> now, what would a day be without music or songs? We're not gonna find her on this program because at this time, we're gonna jump right into our sing-along time. And we have a prince coming to us from the Bahamas who's going to introduce our first song. This train is bound for the this train. Happy Sabbath, Auntie Kay. Our first song for today is, This Train is Bound for Glory. in heaven for me. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. Jesus made a place in heaven for me. Bring it down. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. Jesus made a place in heaven for me. This train is bound for glory. This train. in heaven for me. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train. This train. This train. This train. Happy Sabbath, everyone. My name is Jeffrey Jackson, and I'm from the beautiful island of Jamaica. And the next song
strong will it be? The wise one will build his house up on the rock. upon the rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock, and the rains came a tumbling down. The rains came down and the floods came up. The rains came down and the floods came up. The rains came down and the floods came up, and the house on the rock stood firm. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. Upon the sand, and the rains came a tumbling down. The rains came down, and the floods came up. The rains came down, and the floods came up. The rains came down, and the floods came up. And the house on the sand went splat. So build your house on the Lord Jesus Christ. So build your house on the Lord Jesus Christ. So build your house on the Lord Jesus Christ. And the blessing. Blessings come down as your prayers go up. The blessings come down as your prayers go up. The blessings come down as your prayers go up. So build your life on the Lord. Isle of Spice Grenada. Join me in singing, I will follow you. Happy Sabbath!
Isn't it always fun to sing praises to God? I totally enjoy it too. Thank you to Ian, Josh, and Courtney for helping out this week. Now we're going to head straight into our memory verse and it's going to come to us from a little princess who lives far away from the Bahamas. Listen and you'll hear which country she's from. Hello everyone, my name is Zinaya Gibbs and I'm from the beautiful Sweet Sugar City, St. Kitts. Today's memory verse is, they all join constantly in prayer. Acts chapter 1 and verse 14. Happy Sabbath! Excellent job, Janiah. And I just want to say continue to learn your memory verses. And to you other boys and girls, I'll say the same because you will never know when Auntie Kay will call on you to repeat it for me. Now it's time for our story time. But this week it won't be Anfernita. Instead, it will be Ono Nass's dad. That's my father-in-law. And he's called the cultural Bahamian. And he loves to tell stories. And he gets so excited with it. And so I thought to myself, why not have him come and share with you this beautiful gift. So at this time, the cultural Bahamian will tell us our Sabbath school story. Lesson two, United in Service. Happy Sabbath, everybody. Do you love Jesus? Jesus loves you. And he wants you to go and tell others that he loved them too. When Jesus started his ministry, he chose 12 of his friends to go with him. And as he went out, those who were sick, he made the sick persons heal. Those who were blind, he made them see again. And the ones who were deaf, they could hear again. Ones who could not speak, they were able to shout out. And people who were lame, he made them walk again. Oh, the disciples were so, his friends, the disciples were so happy. They saw Jesus with so, so much power. They said, oh my, we love this. When Jesus become set up his government we want to be in his leader we want to be some of his leading persons in his government and so even even one of two of the boys they were brothers their mommy said jesus when you set up your government we want i want could you let one of my son be your vice president and the next one to be our, our secretary general and they didn't know that jesus was not to beat the, the Roman government, but Jesus was going to die. Jesus told them he was going to die, and they did not believe him. But when Jesus was killed and Jesus died, his friends, they ran away and they hide. And you know, after three days, Jesus came back to life again. And Jesus went to them. Oh, and they were so happy to see Jesus, their, 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 their good friend, their Lord again. And Jesus stayed with them for 40 days. After 40 days, Jesus leave them and Jesus went to heaven. But when he was going to heaven, he says, now you must go and tell people all over the world that I love them. I'm coming back. I'm coming back for all of my friends. And so his friends, the disciples, they went in a house and they went in the room and they sang and they prayed and they prayed and they prayed and they said, they said one to another, do you know, I used to hate you, but I don't hate you no more. I used, to, I used to be mad at you, but I'm not mad at you anymore. I used to be jealous of you, but I'm not jealous anymore. I love you. Let us, let, us, let us put those things behind us and let us be friends. And let us go and work and tell others, tell everybody that Jesus loved them. And so boys and girls, men and women, when you, if you go and tell people that Jesus loved them, if you go and help people, if you go and do good, you will be doing what Jesus said. And so even though you live in a far country, and even though you live in another far country, and I live in a far country, even though we are aptly separated one from the other, if, if you do what Jesus tell you to do, and she do what Jesus tell her to do, and I do what Jesus tell me to do, we will all be working together in unity. Because, because we'll be united in Jesus, we'll be united in faith, we will be united in hope, we will be united in love, and we will be united in service. And so let us go out to the world and do 
united, do service in a united way for Jesus. Because when he come, he, and tell, when he come, he's coming for all of his friends. He's coming for me and he's coming for you. Thank you. That was indeed a beautiful story. Thank you so much, Cultural Bahamian. It's now time to hear from a little prince or a little princess. This week, it's a little princess about what she learned from this week's lesson. Hello, everyone. My name is Julia George, and I live on the island of Antigua. I learned from this week's lesson, when we come together in prayer, we can work for God. Thank you, Princess Julia, for sharing with us what you learned. Let's jump into our object lesson. In our lesson today, it spoke about unity and service. So here it is, I have some multicolored Skittles and some water. Now, I was very deliberate in using the different colors of the Skittles because it represents each and every one of us. We are all different. God and his genius and just how smart he is knew that, hey, some will have this talent, some will have this gift, some will have this, some will have that. and. Could you imagine if we were all the same? I think that would have been very boring. But do you know, as Christians, we all have one goal in mind, and that is to work for Christ. But Christ, knowing that we are all different, he said, you know what? If they all come together using all their gifts and their talents for me, oh, what a beautiful sight that would be. So from today, let us remember how awesome it could be if we work together, especially for Christ. Did you see how beautifully all of those colors came together? <laughs> that was lovely, wasn't it? It's now time to... Ask for the NASA! I'm Ken Renard. I am from the Bobby, the Seventh-day Adventist Church. Why is a church called church? Hey, thank you so much for that question. It's a really good question. Why is a church called church? Well, in the Bible, wherever you see that word church, it's a translation of an old Greek word, which means called out once. Yes, there are many people in the world, but there are people who are called out to come out of the world to be a part of this special group called the church. And anyone who believes in Jesus can be a part of God's church. You can be a part of God's church. I can be a part of God's church. We can all be a part of God's church who are called to live a life that's different from everyone else because we follow Jesus. So boys and girls, why don't you decide to follow Jesus and be a part of his church today? Until next time. Prince and princesses, trust me when I say I am so thankful that Ono Nasa is here with us because last week's Sabbath he was in a terrible accident and what should have happened didn't happen. God kept him safe and for that I'm eternally grateful that he is here with us and that you boys and girls will still be able to hear from and see Ono Nasa. So let's just continue to pray that we all remain safe and continue to just trust in God no matter what happens, no matter what comes our way. Now the program's coming to an end, but as promised, Auntie Kay will be right back here with another Children's Sabbath School program. As always, remember that God loves you, I love you, and let's be good boys and girls. And to end our program, we're going to have our prayer by a little princess who comes to us from the Turks and Caicos Islands. Happy Sabbath, everyone! Dear God, thank you for the program that has happened. We ask you to protect the people who are watching the program and the children all around the world. Provide them with everything they need spiritually and physically. Bless us. May your grace and peace be with us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Happy Sabbath, everyone, and we'll see you all again next week.